Family and friends say they'll never stop searching for a mid-city mother who vanished one year ago today. Heidi Plank never made it home after leaving her son's football game. Her disappearance then set off a massive search throughout the city and sprawling landfill. The 39-year-old was last seen in downtown L.A. That's where KTLA's Mary Beth McDade joins us live. MB. Hi there, Micah and Cord. Yes, uh, missing mom Heidi Plants. You can see behind me here, there are still candles and a plant and a poster uh, right in front of the building where sources say she was last seen and caught on security tape entering this building here. It's called Hope and Flower. However, she was never seen leaving the building. Now, a year ago since her disappearance, her family and friends say they have still not given up hope that they will learn the mystery surrounding her disappearance. It's been a year since this missing mom mysteriously vanished. Heidi Plank was seen on video October 17th, 2021, leaving her mid-city home with her dog to go watch her 11-year-old son's flag football game. Then, after leaving the game early, she was captured on camera walking her dog near the Hope and Flower building in downtown L.A. Her dog was later found wandering on the 29th floor of that high-rise, but Heidi nowhere to be found. I'm struggling with uh, an 11 year old boy that wants to know what happened to his mom. Heidi's ex-husband and father of their son, Jim Wayne says, it's been hard on he and his son not knowing what happened. It's gotta be stuff on his mind that he wants to know every day. He's got questions. Heidi's friends had four billboards put up near the Hope and Flower building, marking the one year anniversary since she went missing. I think most importantly, she was just one of the most loving, giving people I've ever known. They wonder how long the people who know what happened to the missing mom can keep it a secret. I have to wonder if it's eating them up inside. Police believe Plank is dead and did search at Castaic Landfill for her body last November. Forensic evidence was located inside the building, which led detectives to believe that an incident occurred resulting in Plank's death. Plank's ex-husband still believes that Plank's disappearance has to do with her ex-boss at Camden Capital Partners, Jason Sugarman. Sugarman is facing federal charges for allegedly swindling $43 million in pension funds from a tribal nation. Here's video of Sugarman leaving donuts on Plank's doorstep a day or two after she vanished. I haven't changed my mind. Uh, I really haven't changed my mind at all. Wayne says he talks to police often and they assure him they are actively working this case. It's one year and we got to keep this thing alive to find out what happened. And I just speak with the LAPD tonight and they tell me that robbery, homicide, detectives are still investigating this case and they're asking that anyone who knows anything about it to please come forward.